everyone, today I want to tell you about two of my favorite snack food items that are sure to be a hit at any Super Bowl party. You know, it's not going to be in your, your beef tartars or your mini quiche type niche, but these are sure to be a hit at any Super Bowl party, and they'll be gone like that way quicker than those other hors d'oeuvres will be gone. All right, the first snack item I have for you are pizza pinwheels. Pizza pinwheels are good and super easy. All you need is a Pillsbury croissant crust, some sliced cheese. I use either mozzarella or Munster, and I can get these from Lytle for usually about two bucks. Right now, this week, they have them three for five. It's about a buck 66 for, you know, 11 slices of cheese. And then I like to throw some Italian seasoning in there that I also get from Lytle. So these things are super easy. First, you just open up your croissant roll. My wife hates popping open these uh, Pillsbury cans. Then you just roll these out. So what you're going to want to do with these is you're going to want to leave the leave it kind of as a rectangle. Don't do the um, don't do it in the halves for the croissant. So as you can see, you get kind of four of the rectangle things. Then you want to get your cheese and throw that in there. So I'm going to do one of these with single cheese and one of these with double cheese, just so you can kind of get an idea of which one would be better for you. Once you get here, you just take it and you just roll it up. Now what I'm really shooting for with these is I'm hoping to get some uh, enough cheese in there to where some of it leaks out and then you get that burnt cheese. I mean, that burnt cheese is like, you know, an ambrosia of the gods. At least to me it is. I, I, there's nothing better than some nice burnt cheese. So once you get them rolled up, now you're going to want to cut it either in half or in thirds. place if you just use one slice of cheese rather than using more slices of cheese. But putting more cheese in there gives you all that good ooey gooey cheese. These ones you don't get too much of that burnt cheese but put extra slices in there and then you get all that goodness. So after experimenting with kind of the the one slice of cheese over the whole thing or putting a couple extra to get that extra cheesiness I think I would stick with the one slice over the whole croissant because it does kind of come out a little bit nicer looking. You know, that, that is a better looking hors d'oeuvre rather than the ones with the extra cheese, you know, they have that cheese run off. So I think those are great if you're making them at home because, like I said, that burnt cheese is uh, Tony's Ambrosia right there. I'll make these, you know, for myself, but I think if I was doing a Super Bowl party, stick to the one slice of cheese. These things are always a hit, you know. Who doesn't love Pillberry, Crescent Roll, and then cheese? But definitely a, a winner at any Super Bowl party. The second cheese bread, the second homemade cheese bread option I have for you uses a dough from the Dollar Tree. So it's an ultra thin pizza crust you can get for a buck and a quarter from your local Dollar Tree. Thanks for the recommendation, Brian. Appreciate it. What we do with this, this just makes it super easy. You just use this dough and top, put some cheese on there and then we're going to cook it up. So you can kind of see it's an ultra thin dough. Looks like it got it was rolled with the, the perforated. Sprinkle a little bit of Italian seasoning on there. And then cheese and cook it up. I'm using an Italian cheese blend from Lytle. And we're going to do it the way that cheese bread should be. Put the, the whole bag on here. Make sure it's nice and cheesy. And if you want to, you can you know use this dough to make a pizza or whatever you want. But... Since we're going for appetizers, we're just going for a cheese bread on this. Now we're just going to take this and throw it in our oven at 425 to cook it up. All right, cheese bread is done. Put it on broiler on the, for about two minutes. Cooked it for about eight minutes and put it on the broiler. Transfer it to our all-you-need-is-loving pizza. All right, we're gonna doctor this cheese bread up with some butter, garlic, salt, and then Parmesan. So you know, you can melt this butter if you want. I try and just put it on there right when it comes out of the oven. Do a little bit of the garlic salt. And we always love a lot of Parmesan on our cheese bread. All right, it's time to cut her up.
can hear how crunchy it is. So this is pretty sweet. For about $4, you can get you know, your own homemade cheese bread without having to do that much work. A dollar and a quarter for the dough from Dollar Tree. Cheese, bag of cheese is about two bucks. And then all the Parmesan and seasoning and stuff, probably about 75 cents. So about four bucks for this and good cheesy cheese bread. If you like a thin and crispy dough, that Dollar Tree dough is definitely a great one to get for a buck and a quarter. What are your favorite snacks that you're making for the Super Bowl? Please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always looking for, you know, new pizza-based snack items and ideas. So anything you got, hit me up. I'd love to hear it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.